An exciting new career may be right around the corner. The St. Louis County Police Department is hiring public safety dispatchers at their emergency operations center. The power of twos, Ty Hawkins, is joining us from the EOC today with more on that story. Good morning, Ty. Good morning, John and Margie. Don't worry, I have the headset and the radio walkie-talkie. I'm not leaving Fox 2 anytime soon, but they are hiring over at the St. Louis County Police Department. And joining me this morning is Ashley Tate, who has worked here for two years now. Ashley, how are you doing this morning? I'm good. How are you? I'm well, thank you for asking. So you've been taking calls since what time yesterday? 6.20 p.m. last night. So you're looking forward to getting off here pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired. Okay, so when you do take calls, what's the process like when you sit down and log into your computer? Uh, after I log in, I have to make sure I log into ShotSpotter, uh, that's the shot detection. Um, I log into Rapid SOS, and that's how we track everybody who's calling 911. And how many calls do you think you take in a day? On um, the night shift, I take about 150 to 200. On a slow day, about 80. About 80. Now, you've been a dispatcher, and you worked in the precinct before this, right? Uh, no, oh. I, this is my first time working with the police department. Okay, where'd you work for that? A psychiatric hospital. Got it, okay. So when you did that, what are some of the tools you took with you into this job? Um, just to stay calm during stressful situations and how to talk people down when they are having a manic episode mm -hmm. for like attempt suicide situations like that. Real quick last question as we wrap this up. What kind of coping mechanisms do you think people should have if they do have a high stress level type job like this when you deal with people who it might be their worst day? Well, when it's people's worst days, they're going to come at you with everything they got. So you have to stay calm, take deep breaths. If you like exercising, you can do that. We have a gym. If you want to go take a walk, you can read a book or listen to music. And you can have a stress ball, <laughs> just whatever to take the edge off. All right, Ashley, thank you for joining us. Looks like you're off here in about 11 minutes, right? Yeah. All right. That sounds good. Thank you for joining us, Ashley. Thank That's you. all the time we have for this part of the segment. We're going to show you where they take the calls and how they're distributed throughout the EOC, as well as catch up with Captain Morrow. That and more coming up in the next hour. Reporting at the EOC, Ty Hawkins.